Hey, it's Karen Chichester back with Karen Coats, and we're going to make our score panel look less hideous. And to do so, we're going to start in the score panel class, and we're going to go and add J panel label score and J panel button panel. And then we're going to keep the regular J label label. And we're going to keep the static J label number just as is. And we're going to keep J button play again. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we are going to change within score panel. We're going to change some of this layout. So where it says set background color and I had dot yellow, I'm changing it to white to make it a little less hideous. And then when we display the score, which is the number, we want it to be centered. And in order to get it where we want it to go, we're going to use this J panel label score and we're going to give it a grid layout. And within that grid layout, we're going to position both J labels for label and number. So instead of having them within score panel at large, we're putting them within their own little panel grid okay so to do that we're gonna say um let's see j panel no no no. we're gonna say label score because we i we already declared it we're now going to initialize it equals new j panel and now that we have this new j panel we can we can call on it and do things with it. So we're going to say, um, let's see, label score dot set layout. And we're going to do a new grid layout. And since we're just putting two components in it, we're going to do two comma zero comma zero comma zero. Okay. And I believe rows came first. Let's just double check. Yes, it does. So two is what we want. Perfect. And then we're going to say, instead of adding label and number to score panel, we're adding them to label score. Label score dot add. And the same thing here, label score dot add. Perfect. Now number, that is the score. And label is number of matches. Okay. All of this can leave the score panel and it can be in its own method. So we're gonna put we're gonna put um let's see, sorry. Which one did I want to use? Refactor. And I want to extract the method. And we're going to call this create label score. No, we'll just call it create score panel. That's a lot simple. Simpler. Okay. Create score panel. Okay. So now it is outside of our constructor for score panel. Ooh, that is confusing. I don't want to call it create score panel. Let's refactor and let's rename. Oh, does refactor let me do that? It doesn't right now. Okay. Let's come right here. Refactor. It doesn't let me do it there either. Okay. I'm going to be manual here. So instead of create score panel, because that's what the constructor actually does, we're going to call it create. Ooh, I better put it up here. That doesn't make sense. We're going to call this label score panel. So it makes more sense. So create label score panel is what this is going to be called. And it's going to give me a red squiggle because I didn't call it that somewhere else. Oh, and let me capitalize it. There we are. And so label score, wherever it says label score, let's make it say label score panel, just because I don't want to confuse myself down the road. Okay, perfect. So we have that where it needs to be. 
and do, 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 do. oh right here I need to change those to panel as well so let's do that whoops P and L okay we only want to try changing one thing at a time and make sure we didn't break it before we add something else so let's do that and it is invisible okay and that is because when we said create score panel we didn't actually add it the create label score panel we didn't actually add it to score panel itself so we're going to say add and it's called uh, let's see let's see what it's called label score panel label score panel and you can call it whatever you want that's just what i happen to call it so save close and we'll run it again okay and here it is still looking kind of funky but that's okay because we're gonna fix that okay so now that we have our separate create score panel we can do some things with it so first of all we're going to change that to three rows in the hopes of squishing it together a little bit more and then we're going to set the background color and because this is a separate method and not an actual constructor I have to call label score panel in order to set the background color and as I was showing you in window builder instead of just saying color dot white or whatever you can actually use RGB values to set your colors and I'm just randomly choosing some numbers here and if it's hideous we can change it so let's come back here and run as okay it's tan yeah it is kind of hideous so we can go ahead and fix that um, the second thing we can do right now is we can go ahead and change the font and so I think I can change it for the entire panel and it'll apply to all the components let's see if it works that way if it doesn't then we'll add it to the individual components so we're gonna set the font and we're gonna do I have one on my computer called impact that I downloaded from dafont.com for free but you can use Arial if you don't have this font and then what you're gonna do is import the font from Java AWT and the method set font is not applicable for string and int. Oh, that's because I didn't put the second. Nope, that's not why. Usually it'll let me do that. Okay, so let's just try doing it for label. And instead of putting it before we create the label, we're gonna put it after we create the label. And let's see what it says. The method set font font in the type J component is not applicable for the argument string in int. Because font.plane is not an integer. Oh, it is. It's zero. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, let me just try something. That doesn't work. Okay. We are going to try putting it somewhere else. I, I'm kind of playing around with where I put things, and sometimes that changes um, what actually works for you. So let me just put it there. Create method. Really? That usually works. Okay, I'll play around with that some more and come back. But you, normally you can just go ahead and change the font just like that. Um, I'll figure out why it's not working and I'll come back but in the meanwhile I'm going to add a second panel and I'm going to put the J button in it so that I can make a grid and then my J button won't take up a huge rectangle anymore so I will do that and I will come back and show you how it's done thanks for watching